Oh look, we're gonna face Warden ourselves. But I'm not human. After all. Okay guys. I have been struggling with Night Elf. There's many different Night Elf builds, Talon Spares and, and the Master Tier 1 build. I'm going to assume that I'll be facing the scariest version of Night Elf, which is um, Bear Dryad, which is a Demon Hunter Keeper or Demon Panda. I actually think Demon Panda is low-key pretty damn sick. Um, the theoretical counter for us against it is uh, 34 population tier 2 expo. Uh, with uh, Grand Raider Walker Kodo. So we're gonna try and see if we can do that. And also we're gonna try not to let him creep to level 3. Easier said than done. Uh, I don't think I can afford a forward Voodoo Lounge. But I also don't have any creeps that I can take and then quickly run back because this camp is too hard. This camp, this map actually became pretty p bad for Blade Master early game. Like it's fine late game, but early game is a bit tough. Uh, yo, uh, thanks, Gru uh, Jambon. So I think I'll just take this creep from his side or something. Uh, buy circlet, maybe double circlet. Uh, maybe I just go double circlet, run to his base. Buy one circlet here, then buy here. Uh, it means I will delay my second burrow. Actually pretty weak against Sonic style, where he emulations into your peon line. But this guy is not Sonic. We're against uh, Sheik. Like if I build burrow now, we Gucci, but then I can't buy the second circlet. So I prefer to buy the second circlet actually. If he lets me, of course. It's because of inflation, you see. Circlets used to be 175, 175, but now they cost 200. Does he really not know I'm gonna go for wisps? <laughs> yeah, he thought I'm gonna use wind walk. It's a trick. So I actually got the full kill on the. Uh, I got the full kill on the moon wall. That's minus 18040. So this ancient of war is gonna go to the merc camp. I'm gonna hire the creeps so that he can. Because he's of course gonna get Berserker and uh, and Priest. It's a big part of their creeping speed of this camp. I think I shouldn't show for a bit. You'll start it soon. I am yours. Excellent choice. Yes, Oh, 
Hero you want to be absolute human axe. I am yours. Cloak was so good here. Yes, yes, Lord. You too, that I am yours. Hey, are you hero? Do you want to be what task is there? Absolute choice. Yes, are you hero and obey? Yes, yes, we are you. I am yours. And Tango is coming, otherwise why would he invest time into this? Do you know what I mean? I doubt he would still be here, but... <laughs> he is still here. Alright, that was pretty sick. He got cooked hard. Oh my god. That was an amazing game to watch. From this side, it's nice. Like, if you watch that, some d replay you download, because it's not live, because it's not from this perspective, because it doesn't have the element of uncertainty, I watch a replay like that. I think it's boring, lame, useless. But you watch a game like that live on Twitch, you don't know what's gonna happen. It's awesome. As long as you're, you know, the guy that you were supporting wins. Like, I don't look for replays like that, but I do look for live games like that. <laughs> it's more real. How'd you kill him through TP? It was Staff of Telly. That game had me grinning all game. Yeah, I remember a couple of shit-eating giggles myself. Like, I, I go through my memory, how it sounded like, and I believe I was like, <laughs> That's what I remember hearing from myself. Always a good sign. What's your weakest race? Undead. Holy shit, I'm cold, man. Cold feet, cold hands. Cold heart. What makes Stealth of Telly different? The design and the functionality. You're invulnerable during Town Portal Scroll and you're not during Stealth of Telly. Let's go double, double circuit again. Thanks for the sub, Ryu. What's your strongest race? Orc. It's Orc, Human, Elf, Undead in that order. Would you say Hitman is top 3 Orc? On ladder, maybe, yeah. But he, he's too self-sabotaging and... Uh, ...doesn't play enough land to, to really know it. See you at land, nerd. Am I right? 
Excellent choice. Yes, sir. Time. Look around. Yes, sir. Lord. Good party there. I am yours. Yes. Yes, sir. Lord. What do you want? Oh, he came for the circlet dust, but it's too late. Smobu, what do you want? Dabu, Tuxa, Yokta. Smobu, Smobu, Dabu, Yokta. We're under attack. Dabu, Yokta. Smobu. He cancelled. Three. <laughs> he cancelled the tree just to get another hit. <laughs> oh man. Feels good, man. Alright, this is the power of circlet. Uh, a circlet gives six stats, and a, a level up is also six stats. So I, essentially, when you buy double circlet, you show up as a level three. Level three hero power instead of level uh, one. Now, he has a ring of protection plus four, which is also very powerful, but he was also taking hits from the ground, and Grunt is three food, Archer is two food. So essentially, I've got more Grub Flex on him, right? So this is actually a little annoying as Night Elf sometimes, but really what you want to do is to just keep running away. Run away, run away, run away, run away. When there's five, 600 range, let the Archer keep getting hits and Demon only to be trading hits uh, once you've got like your second and third Archer, etc. Then it starts becoming more and more okay. And you want to make sure to draw out the fight so that you got more Moonwell because you recognize the orc doesn't have any heal cells here. So uh, obviously going ham as fast as possible is the worst as possible. He also wasted a trip to the shop because I had double circlet and he, sh he, should, he could maybe know that. But he ran into the shop without clicking the shop. So he didn't know that there's no circlet to be bought. So he took like 100 damage for no reason from the shop. So you can go for evasion level one, but I'm not sure if it's really the best. I kind of don't like having 1.7 demon with evasion. I still think it's better to take the mana exchange trade and to just empty mana. Just um, only start burning once you are confident that you can heal up enough. Every time I see this map with this location, I think Ancient Isles. It has the exact same starting location for them and us. And the trees look somewhat similar as well. Ancient Isles lives in my head rent-free. It was a very imbalanced map. Very advantageous for Elf. But there were a couple of things you could do as an orc. Namely, you could go for the troll level 6, which was here at the laboratory. Uh, it dropped an item like Books of the Dead. And you could solo creep it with Blade and Grunt right at the start of the game, if you buy a circuit from shop. And you would leave with a 50 HP Grunt and a 50 HP Blade. You'll be level 1.6 with something like Book of the Dead, Healstone, etc. So it was a pretty wacky... A pretty wacky start. And then they always played talents back in those days. That map was always hard until I developed my special Blade Master Tower Rush Tier 1 that nobody could stop. I practiced with it and got like 40 0 in practice. And then I played it at BlizzCon and I won twice. Even though. No, three times. I won with it three times. Even though my strategy was ratted out to one of the Night Elf opponents by a snake that's how confident i was with the build like even though they knew it i'm like i'm still fucking gonna do it because they they can't respond in time the strategy is too multi-layered what task is there are you here and obey can i help you it's during moments like that that i feel like i understand bobby fisher a little bit more I'm like, I know how you got paranoid, bro. Me too. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, excellent choice. I hear and obey. Yes, Lord. I 
Why is the turtle attacking me? Now it's attacking him. Sure. Sure, bro. Master? What do you want? I am yours. Oh, yes, See if yes, we can pick up anything cool here. Paul's is pretty cool. Who's Fisher? Bobby Fisher is an amazing chess player from uh, yes, from the previous I generation. That I, I, I believe he was American, and he was one of the few Americans that could compete with the Russians in high-level chess. But he became incredibly paranoid that his opponents were cheating. I believe he was also quite xenophobic. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure about that. I believe he has some interesting worldviews, but the paranoia part, I understand. Oh, anti-Semitic. Yeah, he kind of went insane, but the paranoia about people cheating, that part I totally get. So he's just gonna click a grant. And then, I think he's gonna creep this. Oh, he did already. How did you cheat in chess? Anal beats, brother. He did get his own claws, but we got one creep. It's because I was in the wrong position. Need to be careful not to get entangled, surrounded, or something. I think he's taking mid right now. I am yours. I am yours. Yes. He must be mid. We haven't seen him in ages. He might be Ancient of War creeping his own uh, laboratory. It's Mass Riots, okay, good to know. They're not gonna cancel the second walker. Nice attack, bro. Yes, Lord. We are enemies 
hiding. What task is there? Spirit is oh, smooth I have yours. Power. What task is there? You'll never see a um, 2200 MMR orc walk in with a 100 HP hero. This is the typical night elf mistake. Dude, this blade is a freaking monster. Zero mana burns some shadow. Pretty good when that's the case. It made no sense his uh his play blade had some pretty sick damage <laughs> 162 uh, he had so many items i had to give away ring of superiority and gloves of haste which actually proves that one of those claws of attack uh purchases was probably too much we had eight blade items grubby moon did an interview two years ago and said you were the most memorable player what's your impression of moon the same What's the best items you've ever had on a blade in a match? I've probably had Claws of Attack plus 12, Lightning Orb, one or two Quelthalas, and then Scourge Bone Chimes, and then a Circlet, something like that. Do you think the game would be infinitely better without Mana Burn? I don't think so. I think... I'm not like a... I'm, I'm not religiously a believer in old Blizzard design, but they were so good that I'm loath to edit too much of it because by removing things that we deem OP, like Tome of XP has been removed, we still lower the amount of variance and variety in the game and some of which may feel good to remove at the time, but will actually make the game less interesting regardless. You will never please an audience by always removing the thing they hate the most. Eventually, you'll remove the whole game. Yes, Mana Burn and Siphon, especially Mana Burn, one of the most hated things, but ask 10 different people what they hate the most in Warcraft 3 or what is unfun, one of those words of modern times, unfun, that really means many different things to different people, right? Remove, ask 10 different people what they dislike the most and remove it. It'll be 10 different things. 
and nobody will be enjoying the game like on average the community will not be enjoying the game more after that i believe now if you take a very poorly designed game i think there's a lot more easy w's this is where everyone in the community starts feeling that they can contribute to a design by committee and a less confident, less visionary, less creative, and less skilled developer may capitulate to the desires of the masses by thinking they're pleasing their player base, but they're really just designing by committee without actually a clear vision. And you see this sometimes happening right now, even now. So yeah, I hate mana burn. Some people think it should be removed. I think if you remove it, you have to redesign so many different things that have been balanced around it. And suddenly there'll be another problem. Now you have to remove Ensnare and then you have to remove Siphon. Mana Steel has to be, has to be removed. One of Mana Steel. I don't think it's a good idea.